morning. Welcome to your monthly psychic tiring for June 2024. Capricorn. Let's do this. Justice. The Knight of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Okay. Something is becoming clear. Very, very clear and you are excited and um, yes, you were very much looking forward to that. For things to become clear. So yeah, now you know. This is what I'm getting. Now I know, Sophia. Now I know. Okay. Now I understand. Okay, good. Capricorn. You're single. You're looking good. You're vibing high. Focusing on your career. Your pentacles. Excited of what the future holds for you with the Two of Wands. Regaining optimism. Capricorn. Two more shuffles. Page of Wands. Capricorn. Nine of Wands. You are a fighter, a warrior. Yes, you are. And on the bottom of a deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. Yes. First card for you, Capricorn, is the Nine of Wands, the warrior energy. Okay. They say what does not kill you makes you stronger. This is what they say, and I see it here. Okay. Yes. And Ten of Swords. The Fool, very good, because the cycle of struggles is completing. We have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. It's done. This energy is done. Mm-hmm. Whatever was holding you back will not be holding you back anymore. Because why? Because you have clarity. You have received clarity. Or you will receive very, very soon. Full of awareness of the situation. Now, again, I don't intend my readings to be love readings. But if love shows up, right, it's welcomed, right? Yes, it is. So, saying that, clarifying the Nine of Wands for Capricorn. Find the Nine of Wands for Capricorn, the warrior energy. We have the King of Swords, the King of Clarity. <laughs> and this is the energy that you are embodying. Cutting away whatever needs to be cut away. Moving along towards your Ninth Cup. Nothing is holding you back. Nothing will hold you hostage here. Or find, please, the, uh, the King of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands. Because you have a very, very strong inner foundation. You have built a very strong inner and outer foundation for yourself, your family, your loved ones. Okay? Yes. Again, we have the world showing completion here. Yes. Uh, again, a, a, a completion of a... For some of you, unbearable cycle. So it has been difficult. It has been difficult. We're fine with Ten of Swords for Capricorn. Can we find the Ten of Swords for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Wow, the Queen of Swords. We have the King and the Queen of Swords here. And victory. Standing your ground. You're standing your ground. Okay. 
Find the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords for Capricorn. Thank you. The Star. Embodying this energy of the Queen and the King of Swords will empower you. I just heard no more, um, uh, something about a bush. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. Something about a bush. Running around the bush. No, that's not right. Uh, something about a bush. I don't know. That's what I heard. I, I don't know what that is. Okay. Not running around the bush. Okay. <laughs> Moving on from that. Um, okay. I really hope you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. What bush, Sophia? What bush? Okay, the bush. Okay. Clarifying the fool. Clarifying the fool, taking a risk, moving ahead without fear. You're fearless here, fearless. Two of Cups. And this Two of Cups energy is in front of you. This is a new soulmate connection. This is a new contract. This is a loving energy that is ahead of you, right? Capricorn, clarifying the Two of Cups for Capricorn. Yes. Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups. Excitement. Look at you here. How excited you are. Your heart is beating like a drum. Uh-huh. What, what they say when one door opens, it closes, another one opens, and you are definitely closing the door here. This is you leaving behind the Eight of Cups, heading towards your Ninth Cup, Capricorn. So we find the Two of Cups for Capricorn, please. Thank you. The Hanged Man. You have been in the hangman energy for quite some time. It's time to rise up. Yeah, you see? It's time to rise up. You have been in the hangman energy for quite some time. Now you're rising up. Starting to move, to flow. Things will start to move and flow. And you're going along with it. You're not resisting here at all. You're not resisting. You're not complaining and you're not resisting. You're definitely riding the wave. And this wave is leading you to something really, really beautiful, Capricorn. Really, really beautiful. Oh, yes, definitely. Six of Cups. This is a loving energy, pure love, happiness, contentment, sharing. This is an equal give and take. Both individuals here have pure intentions. Loving, loving energy. You also have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is you. You are the King of Pentacles, Capricorn. And we also have the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Now, this could be someone from the past, could be for some of you. You are making a decision when it comes to this fire sign, this, this, this energy. Again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but you are making a decision when it comes to this person. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. So we're finding the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. So we're finding the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. This has been not, you see, this, this situation from the past has not been working out. And then we have, with the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. Now, that is, this is a totally different story because you are being appreciated here. Admired, appreciated. 
Now this could also be work related. Yes, it could be, it could be. Because remember I did say that the two of cups is also a new contract. Yes. This could also be work related. Finding that ninth cup. When it comes to your finances and your career, how you make a living. But as I said, you're heading towards this beautiful energy of appreciation and admiration. Clarifying the Seven of Swords for Capricorn. Even though I get that this is past energy, the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords is a past energy. You're moving away from that. You see? You are on the boat. You're heading towards calmer waters. You're leaving behind all the baggage that you have to leave behind. This cannot come with you and will not come with you. You are on a different path, on a different journey. Wheel of Fortune, thank you very much. Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. And again, things will start to flow. Did I say that earlier? I think I did because we have the Eight of Wands. Things will start, will start to flow. It jumped out of the deck. Ten of Wands. Four of Cups. And again, I feel that this is a past energy. Hoping for something to work out. But it hasn't. Right. And it has become a burden. Capricorn, it has become a burden. And yes, it does need a lot of strength to take the actions that you are shown to take. You are taking these actions. You are. Can I find please the Eight of Wands for Capricorn? Thank you. Some of you are in between worlds with the Two of Pentacles. Some of you are still juggling. Some of you, as I said, are still in between chapters in life. But then again, you are expanding your vision here. There is death and rebirth with, 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 with scorpionic energy here. You're holding the whole world in your hands. Infinite possibilities. Infinite. And there is definitely something better along the way. Better, something better in front of you. Yes? And you know that. You do know that. You are aware of that. We'll find the two of wands for Capricorn. Thank you. Five of wands, page of swords, enough of the struggle. Enough with that warrior of ten. I, I believe that a lot of you are tired of struggling and fighting and uh, enough with that. Again, as I said, you have received enough clarity with the page of swords or you are receiving enough clarity for this struggle to stop. It doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to struggle. We don't have to make this more difficult than it is because life is not only about rainbows and butterflies, right? No. Queen of Pentacles. Again, Capricorn energy. As I said earlier, you, 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 have, you have put energy and effort into a relationship or, or job or whatever, commitment, something. You have been committed to something that you, you see no growth. And again, this is not your fault. This, this has nothing to do with you. But when, when, when you view a situation clearly and still you choose to stay in that, then it is your making. You understand what I mean? Yes. Five of Pentacles. And 
what does keep what, what what keeps us stuck is fear fear of the unknown fear of letting go Capricorn this is you again You see this slow movement with the, the slowest night in the day, the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles? It's like unbearable. It's unbearable. Yeah. You, you can't do that for, you know, you're done with it. I, I feel a lot of you are done with this. Yes. You are changing your, your ways. You're changing the pattern. Because when you, something is 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 um, it's like a a roller, a little roller coaster, but the 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 wheel, right? You know when it when when it repeats and it's like, uh, you don't you don't want another cycle of this. You don't want another cycle of this. Capricorn, happy life. Live a less guarded life. Happy life. I jumped. And we have the cat. Hmm. I can com comfort myself and feel nurtured. I am calm. I am tranquil. My intuition is strong. It is easy for me to feel, sense, or know how others feel. I can tell the difference between my feelings and the feelings of others. I am compassionate and kind. Do you have a lot of worrisome, repetitive thoughts? Have you noticed that you are extremely sensitive to the thoughts, feelings, emotions, and physical challenges of others? It's time to find mental peace and tranquility in your life. Take the time to meditate and re relieve your mind of the ins from the incess incessant chatter. Excuse me. I N C E S S A N T. Observe life in a in a detached manner and focus on what is truly important. Which I'm getting here is your happiness, right? Yes. <laughs> Capricorn. I really hope this helped somehow, some way. Now, if you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.